What's up everyone, it's Bear Shark Blaze, and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. I haven't been on FS22 in what feels like over a year. Uh, I just kind of lost interest uh, in making content. I did do a lot of content for Farm Simulator. Um, but I figured I would do an update on my one of my most popular videos. I think it is the most popular video. Uh, but the lizard pickup truck, <clears throat> if you go into your vehicles, uh, the pickup 1986 was one of my most popular videos to this day. So I figured why not do the lizard pickup 2017 model and see if it can do more or uh, less than its older cousin. So let's go ahead and buy that. We're going to be comparing the two, so we've got to have both. So this has more rim options, just saying. Alright, so we have both trucks. They both have bed. Uh, I guess I do need this open. It's, I haven't played in a while. I have the auto turn off still on. Much more aggressive diesel. Alright. Start off with payload. We're just gonna go ahead and buy cheap. I do have the Lumberjack mod on, along with Sleep Anywhere, those are the only two mods I reinstalled. Alright, so... You notice, there's two in there. I feel like I can, yeah, I can close the tailgate. You can close the tailgate, but it's freaking out. <laughs> Alright, and then... We don't need to do that. Alright, next test we're going to be doing, because obviously they hold the same payload, and it doesn't really matter how much high you stack them, it's about uh, like stability, and we're not testing stability, because I've driven all kinds of stuff. Alright, so now we're going to see how fast they are. Pops out at 120. Granted, that's in uh, kilometers. I, I have two ways to change all the settings. Alright, so that's 120 kilometers, which let me put that in American units for you guys. 
get settings. It says it'll do 74 miles an hour. Which I got it up to 75. Handling's a little rougher. see what the 120 is. So they both do the same mile, 74 miles per hour. Alright, let's go ahead and buy some trailers. So we're going to buy a couple different ones. Buy that little guy. These are all different styles of trailers. Just in case it fits. how that's going to fit or attach. But I do appreciate they added some cheaper stuff. Like, that's really cheap. I don't even have any mods for that on there. So that's really cool. They added some cheaper equipment for people that try to do those challenges. Again, I don't see how that's going to attach to either one of these. This might... Again, really nice that they added some cheaper equipment. I might have to do a base game. Uh, let me go with the bigger ones. <clears throat> like zero dollar challenge kind of thing. Uh, cool. Alright, so we've got various different equipment for all different types. Just to make my life a little easier. also has a standard ball on the tail hitch. Alright, so 
So neither one of them can connect to that. Let's try our next trail. So, I'm not going to keep testing out that style of trailer. So we can attach to this wagon. This is an auger wagon. It's going to be a little complicated. They seem to be the same truck, um, just with different price tags. I, I don't know why I wouldn't be able to connect to this. Yep, I can connect to that. I should be able to connect to the water trough, however common. One thing we got to test for. That's how it says we need to fill the tool first. Let's try to lose this pond over here. something big. I really like that you can do that. Um, I've had issues with that uh, in the past. It might have been the map I was on, but I've definitely had that issue before where I'm trying to fill up the water tank and it wouldn't let me. So now we're going to go try out the older truck, 1986. <clears throat> the little square body, if you will. And we can do that as well. So, 
That's awesome. I don't know if they fixed that, or like I said, if it was on the map I was on, or the equipment I was using. So. All right, let's move up to bigger equipment. So we got this big auger wagon. Connect to that, that's cool. Now, I shouldn't be able to really do anything with this since I do not have a uh, PTO shaft. So we can get that out. That's cool. I can, you can completely use an auger wagon. Alright, even though we don't have a PTO shaft. <laughs> So far, they've been the exact same truck, just different price tags and different like looks and aesthetics. Yep. Right then. All right. Now we're getting up to the more complicated stuff. Didn't expect, but you can always, if you have the super strength mod, you can just toss that in the back of your truck. Take it to your tractors, because everyone knows, like, tractors are not the fastest vehicles in the game. You definitely want a truck to drive to and from places, but sometimes you don't have that option. I'll try the uh, little pickup in a second, see if it'll connect to those. We got these two big pieces of equipment over here. I might be able to hook up to this potato. No, it's got the the ring. Alright, so it's gonna be a no-go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the other truck and see if we can connect to that. Next test we're going to do is stability. How well they handle a weighted load while driving. Uh, this, this should be enough. Okay. Let's say you want to bring something back. You just bought this trailer uh, from the store, and you feel like driving your tractor. Super strength mod. It's like the, the best thing, unless you're really trying to uh, be a realistic farmer. Alright, let's 
let's try just a small turn. Slow down. able to still get up to speed, still able to, to move over, slow down. So, <clears throat> very, very simple, not, not a lot of issues with it. Let's go ahead and try out this older truck. Way down there, just right. Not quite the same setup, but. Try again. The other truck flipped a lot easier. No, I can't. I can't flip the the box square body. It handled the weight just as well. So, in my opinion. This is a better purchase. Now I will attach the weight differently this time. Basically a similar angle. like the square body more. Um, I know the challenge kind of says they're the same, but you're saving $20,000. It says it can hold more, they're basically the same truck. It goes a little bit faster. Now, this like little tractor thing, it costs the same as the truck, however common you can put a dump bed in it, if I remember correctly. Or you can like, like I put a three-point attacher on there and I can move farm equipment. So let's go ahead and buy the John Deere little guy here. Now, can I attach to everything here? Half the big old trailer. I can connect to 
into the, the little trailer. I can connect to the water tank. Basically, a tractor now that has the. Uh, so I can lower this planter. This is a potato planter.
Again, it's not gonna be able to pull it, but still cool. Alright. We did forget one type of trailer. It's kind of important. We need a low loader. Now see that's a pinhole. Drop deck would work just because I can hook up to the semi truck attachment. I'm trying to see if they have. No, they don't have a ball. Uh. Yeah, I don't have a ball. Like they don't have a ball. Hookup. So yeah, that one's for like a tractor. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to use the semi truck to hook up to this, or the semi truck attachment. So that's something interesting. Now <clears throat> we're comparing twenty five thousand dollars. So let's see what can I, what can twenty five thousand get you in a tractor? So you can get this guy. 38 horsepower. Think there's any medium tractors in that price range? I'll check. Yeah. No. Uh, or, I don't think there's anything else that really pulls it. Lots of different forklifts now. You can't afford a forklift. But a skid steer. Nope. All right. Oh my! This is a, this is a little baby guy. Big trailer. Not well. Twenty-five thousand dollars. It could get you where you need to go. Man, I can apparently change my driving direction. That's pretty cool. Can't do that in the Gator. All right. I just want to see if it moves the semi truck trailer better than the gate. Can't connect to it from the front. I can connect to it in the rear. Alright. So, I could not get the gainer to pull this thing. Alright, hang on. This is, uh, alright, so let's get a wait for it. Just get a nice little 900 pounder, 900 kilogram. See if that balances out my front end.
They don't look like it. connect to that weight. Let's try a smaller one. testing out the pickup trucks this one is worth it the lizard pickup 1986 from the previous video I did on this recommend that all day long if you're looking for a pickup truck from the base game of farming center there's much better trucks and mods however comma if you're trying to stay away from mods and you just want to play the base game I would go with the lizard pickup 1986 now the John Deere Gator it could do more than the pickup trucks. Could do more. You could haul things. Now that I have the semi truck trailer on the road and I'm not trying to go uphill, let's reconnect everything and see if it functions better. I want to give it like a fair test. Alright. So now we're on flat road. Now 
Nah, the, the tracker was doing much better. Yep. So, <clears throat> the Gator was doing amazing. The Gator was Gatoring, you know, John Deere it up. But, this little guy, Antonio Caro, TTR, reporting, highly recommend. Uh, that's going to be a vehicle I purchase in later games for like, you know, money challenges and stuff like that. That's going to, that's going to get your business done. It's not going to hold you back. Now, there is the cheaper tracker, 9500 for that one. And where's that? 7500 for this guy. This has a little horsepower. So you could get the older Super Tiger tractor. I don't see why it has a wheel setup option. There's no no one. All right, let's see this little guy. Oh man, he's tiny. So this one only has a max speed of 13 miles an hour. But you can attach to the big old plow. money on that unless you absolutely need a tractor. So I think the Zetor here, I've used it quite a bit in my day. It's about the same speed. I don't know if I actually can hook up to this trailer. I can't even hook up to that trailer because of the ball hitch. Conclusion, if you're trying to, you know, do everything the right way, and you need a truck, I recommend, you know, a Lizard Pickup 1986, that's the, vid the video I did before. If you want to be able to do tractor stuff and move stuff from your, uh, from like the store and whatnot, and you don't want to have to spend a lot of money, and you don't want to drive your big tractors. I recommend that little guy. He does he does a decent speed. He's not gonna go super fast, but for twenty five thousand dollars, you're not gonna beat it. Um, other than buying the pickup truck, but pickup truck can't haul like certain farm equipment because of the different points. So, in conclusion, get this. 
or you, uh, like, unless you just need it for pickup reasons, then get those picked up. But this is your best tool to get stuff from the store and bring it back to your farms. Uh, this has been Bear Shark Plays. Love y'all. Catch y'all next time in Farming Simulator 22. It's been too long. Bye-bye.